Hello everyone, welcome to Pwn to Own 2020. I'm Dustin Childs with the Zero Day Initiative, and today I am coming to you from our Mid-South headquarters, also known as my home office. With the COVID-19 coronavirus affecting so many people and so many different institutions, this year's competition will be held completely virtually. So we have contestants and ZDI researchers all around the world, and they will come together on a video call for each attempt. Everyone participating has already sent in their exploits to us. So when the time comes, the ZDI researcher will run the exploit with the contestant watching online. So for this year's contest, we have six different groups set to run seven different attempts, four today and three tomorrow. As a special treat at the end of day two, ZDI's Lucas Long will be dis uh, demonstrating his own exploit against Oracle VirtualBox. So that'll be at the end of day two, so be sure to stay uh, to tune in for that as well. Our day began with some Pwn2Own -own newcomers, a team from the Georgia Tech System Software and Security Lab. They were targeting the Apple Safari web browser with a macOS kernel escalation of privilege. All right, I'm gonna launch Safari now. You nervous? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they chained together a total of six unique bugs, starting with the JIT vulnerability and ending with the Toctile race condition to escape the sandbox and pop a root shell. Nice, oh. nice. nice. It, it will spawn the kernel shell too. Okay. Oh, yes. Look at that. Nice. All right. Nice, well you guys. Their smooth demonstration earned them $70,000 and seven points towards Master of Pwn. I think it's a kind of dream, right? Like, a, like for participating in Pwn Tion. We feel like it is kind of like a festival for hackers. Like yes. we can meet like uh, some other famous hackers and we want to talk with them and we want to like uh, discuss with you guys. Maybe we can have beer. Thank you. Like uh, we really enjoy this and uh, we are really, you know, happy to achieve our like old dream to participate in Pontion. Yeah, we really love it. Next up, Pwned Own veteran Fluorescence set his sights on Microsoft Windows 10. Surprising absolutely no one, he used a use after free bug in Windows to escalate privileges from a regular user to administrator. Right, three, two, one, go. Oh, and a pop. Uh, there we go. <laughs> nice. Very nice, yay. <laughs> the slick demonstration earned him $40,000 and four points towards Master of Pwn. I'm really happy that Pwn Pwn is able to, uh, to take place even in these uh, crazy circumstances. So what made you decide to go after an LPE in Windows 10? Uh, I think that um, Windows is a, is a target that I am I like doing. So yeah, it's personal preference. Our third attempt of the day saw another pwn own rookie take the field. Manfred Paul of the Red Rocket CTF team chose to target the Ubuntu desktop with a local privilege escalation exploit. All right, starting the clock. Woo! All right. Nice. Look at that. Oh. Nice. Congratulations. <laughs> he leveraged an improper input validation bug to go from a standard user to root. Nice work. Nice and clean. So clean. His first foray into the world of Pwn to Own earned him $30,000 and three points towards Master of Pwn. What was it that led you to decide to participate in Pwn to Own? Well, uh, basically I had this bug and I didn't know what else to do with it. <laughs> uh, I didn't initially plan on participating, but now that remote participation was, was possible, uh, it was basically an, a very easy decision to make. Um, I really hope to participate and be able to find new uh, bugs. <laughs> The first day of Pwned Own 2020 ended with the returning fluoroacetate duo of Amat Kama and Richard Zhu ready to defend their Master of Pwn crown. Yep, ready. All right. They leveraged a UAF in Windows to escalate from a regular user to system. And yes, this was a different UAF than the one used earlier in the day. Boom. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> this final entry of day one earned them $40,000 and four points towards Master of Pwn. I'm going to add like a five minute sleep before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> just, just to make it more uh, dramatic, right? That wraps up the first day of Pwn to Own 2020. Even when we're physically separated by thousands of miles, we're brought together by some great research and exploit demonstrations. Join us tomorrow for our second and final day of the contest. As with today, we'll be tweeting and updating the blog with results as they occur. I'll see you then.